In this video, I'm going to look at moles and Avogadro's number. So, a typical question would be how many moles of something are present? And by moles, we could be talking about atoms, molecules, electrons, anything really. So, first question we'll look at is how many moles of molecules or atoms, or protons, or electrons are there in a mole of chlorine, Cl2? So if you want to have a go at that, pause the video and then play when you're ready. So if you've got a mole of chlorine, Cl2, you've actually got a mole of chlorine molecules because Chlorine is a molecule. If you're talking about atoms, you've actually got two moles of atoms because chlorine, Cl2, is made from two atoms. It's a diatomic molecule. You've actually got 34 moles of protons because each Cl atom contains 17 protons. You remember chlorine's atomic number or proton number is 17 so you'd have double that in a mole of Cl2 and the same goes for electrons because chlorine is made from two atoms and the number of electrons equals the number of protons in atoms. So we take it to the next level now so if we know how many moles we've got how many particles are present? So we'll just recap the definition of the moles. It's going to help us with this. One mole of a substance contains the same number of particles as there are atoms in 12 grams of carbon-12 atoms. And of course that number is Avogadro's number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23. So the same question again, a mole of Cl2 contains how many molecules, atoms, protons and electrons? So if you've got a mole of chlorine molecules, you've actually got 1 times Avogadro's number of molecules, so you've got 6.02 times 10 to the 23 molecules. You've got a mole of chlorine Cl2, you've actually got two moles of atoms, so you'd have 2 times Avogadro's number of atoms, 1.204 times 10 to the 24. A mole of Cl2 contains 34 moles of protons, like we've already said, so you just multiply Avogadro's number by 34, and the same for electrons. And the formula triangle for moles and particles looks like that. So if you want to find out the number of particles present that we've just done, you need to know how many moles you've got and you multiply by Avogadro's number. If you want to find the number of moles present, you look at the number of particles, you divide by Avogadro's number. 